fucking god dancing. Oh man! How am I talking? Is there spit coming out of my mouth? Oh, yeah, it's real working. We are in Wellesley, Massachusetts. It's about 25 minutes west of Boston. It is beautiful here. There is so much to see, to do, to eat, and there's a reason to smile. Let's go. There's so much to do in Wellesley, aside from shopping, which they have many squares to do so. The homes are stunning. There are plenty of outdoor spaces to explore, a great dentist, tasty food, and so many flowers to see in the springtime. Our first stop is to check out the biggest globe you'll ever see. Babson College in Wellesley is home to this massive globe, and it's actually moving. It's the brain baby of the founder of the college, who is in statue form, wearing a mask, right here. Roger Babson, RIP, founded the college way back in the day. He wanted to have a globe on campus in the 40s to, quote, impress upon students and other viewers an appreciation of the world as a whole, end quote. It weighs 25 tons. That's 50,000 pounds, people. In fast motion, you can see that, in fact, it is moving. Very slowly in real life, but moving. Just down the street, Wellesley College. Normally I would say go to Wellesley College and just drive around the campus because it's beautiful. Unfortunately, due to COVID, the campus is closed to the public, but you can go online and take a virtual visit. Once we're out of the woods and things are back to normal, I would highly recommend walking around campus. And Lake Wobbin is nearby. It's beautiful there. Also, shout out to Wellesley College Women for keeping us going during the marathon. It's the halfway point. So parking spots for Lake Wobbin, they're on campus. So here are some other outdoor park options nearby. Head to the town hall and explore the cute little park next to it. You might even run into some swans and see a couple of flowers sprouting up from the ground. It's a great place to have a picnic. About an eight minute drive from downtown Wellesley is a 36 acre garden to explore. Now we're at the Massachusetts Horticultural Society, the garden at Elm Bank, and it is gorgeous here. It costs 10 bucks per person to get in unless you're a member. They have a really great kids section with lots of things to make noises with, to explore, to touch, to smell, sometimes taste. They have classes here, workshops, courses, you can volunteer, and so much more. While we were there, volunteers were actually working on the Society Trial Garden. The goal is to try a variety of different plants in the New England climate and see if they work. Volunteers are planting everything now and the flowers should be blossoming soon. For now, expect spring flowers and a beautiful Italian style fountain and courtyard. I feel like this is a really good place to pack a lunch and come and sit a while and just be present and smell the smells of springtime. It's great. Let's see the next spot. Hot tip, if you have errands to run outside of your neighborhood, explore a little more of wherever you go. We're at One Hollis Street in Wellesley, and this is kind of random, but I'm getting some dental work done inside. It's going to be fun, it's going to be enjoyable, and sometime soon, we're taking our masks off, right? I'm gonna put mine back on now though, but let's go inside and get a deep cleaning. My cool dentist opened Oblanc Aesthetics back in March. Hello! Hey, I'm in the chair, everybody. This is Dr. Tarek, love Hello. the angle. Dr. Tarek Shabe has goals to incorporate champagne, cocktail hour, and other cosmetic procedures at his practice. They're gonna have cocktail hour. We're about it. He's not a regular dentist. He's a cool dentist. I'm new to the deep cleaning life. Okay. The reason we do deep cleaning is because uh, we can't get all the plaque, if, uh, if I should say, uh, mm -hmm. calcified plaque mm -hmm. from uh, uh, your tooth uh, uh, straight from uh, you know regular uh, cleaning. We do have to go deeper. Deep. In order for us to go deeper into the gum, we do have to numb you up. So uh, that's the reason. Okay. But then after this, my gum should be in a better place. Yes. And I'll continue 100%. to floss. 100%. The glasses. Okay, here we go. You can smell fish. They're awesome. Ah! It's good. That's the terrible part about uh, deep cleaning. Uh uh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. After the deep clean, when you're trying to get lunch and then the food drips down your face. Cool, I feel great. Yeah, I can't smile that well, huh? <laughs> it's lopsided. We did it. We did it. And when will I get my mouth back? Uh, an hour and a half. Oh, an hour and a half. Okay, well, we're going to lunch next. So, right after this? Right after this. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> I'm excited to come back and have cocktails. Sounds good. When that happens. All right. Okay. The vibe is great. The people are so nice. If you want to get your teeth done and you don't live in Wellesley, I mean, you can come out here and just enjoy the area. 
It's lovely. I'm talking so weird. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Straight to Cafe Mangal, which is literally right around the corner on Washington Street. Ooh. It was a spot that Dr. Tarek recommended. Oh my God, it's so cute. And it did not disappoint. For lunchtime, they have seating just behind the restaurant in a beautiful park. They have an adorable little picnic spot in the back. I love it. The menu is amazing and we needed help deciding. Our server goal was great. I can very highly recommend this avocado tuna salad. What's a Turkish? Enginar. Oh, it's so delicious. It's the whole artichoke hearts huh? and then it's stuffed with all the vegetables. We also had hummus and eggplant dip. So yummy. Oh, wow, look at that. It's like a flower. Wow. Meet the chef, Mehmet. He said they have both traditional ethnic and modern and more contemporary food. These are our own creations. I love That's it. That's one of the most popular salads. The roast beef has ranch dressing, mm. diced onions, monster cheese, roast beef, tomato, and avocado. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> the capers make it. You're not allowed to have any of this. Next level deliciousness. For dessert, coffee and a sweet treat. It's the Turkish delight. Plus, Baklava. How do you get so many layers? How do you 40, get it to be so fun? 48 layers. 48? <laughs> yes. There's a formula. Yeah. This is Turkish coffee, and you don't drink it down to the very last bits because the grounds are all down there. That's what we've learned today. That's nice. That's really nice. It's different. You'll like it. Well, oh, yeah. God damn. I know that's good because. You're dancing. Mm hmm So was he excited about this? Ooh. Delicious. Wow, you, you like went to Dreamland. I would I would <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I legit fell asleep for a second. Because <laughs> of the bakuba. Bakuba put me to bed. <laughs> oh, it is it's a dream. Of course we're coming back. Absolutely. We need another cup of that Turkish coffee. But we have another stop to make on this journey. Lasik's Cheese Shop, home to so many cheeses and wines and snacks that pair perfectly. Brian helped us out. I'm the other Brian, not to be confused with Brian Wasik. Cheese extraordinaire Brian. Yeah, sure. Okay. What's with all the cheese? Steve Wasik started the cheese shop about 42 years ago with his wife Carol. And the rest was history. But I had some questions. What's the most expensive cheese here? During the holidays, it's probably the truffle free that we get for like Thanksgiving and Christmas. Okay, what's the oldest? The stinkiest. The small. The oldest is probably the seven year Quebec cheddar, or like the four year old aged Gouda. Uh -huh. The stinkiest depends on what the age is. The, oh, okay. The camemberts are pretty stinky. Mostly the wash dry cheeses. They're bathed in salt water solutions. So that bacteria, mm -hmm. it's the same bacteria that's in your gym bag. Of course. What's your favorite cheese? Depends, depends what month it is. We're starting to get into like buffalo mozzarella. This is the apricot curry chutney spread. That's the most famous thing in the store. The Yankee chutney, it's like English style chutney, like peach and apple and spice yeah. and stuff like that. That's in the spreads. The spread is a little bit of this, dried apricots, curry powder, secret blend of cheeses. I don't even know the recipe too. So that's like everyone's gift the first time they come in. He's not lying. We walked out of the store with a free tub of everyone's favorite cheese spread. It's gonna be, look at, you can see stuff in it. It's a beautiful spread. And purchased a few other things too. The chutney, holy crap. Gonna be great. And a wine. For later. Let's go. Our last stop is not too far from the cheese shop. It's Captain Martin's Seafoods. And it's pretty much what you would expect. They have a variety of fish and crustaceans, and you can really find it all here. They wrap it up for you, and you're ready to go. Fresh from the sea. We got some lemon sole to cook tomorrow, and it's wrapped so cute. Wellesley is really nice. You should go. Thanks everybody for coming on these adventures with me. I really enjoy making them and I hope you enjoy watching them too. And maybe you find something new to do in a really cool area. Please make sure to like, like literally like, like push the button, like subscribe and make sure to comment on where we should go next. I have a really long list, but I'm hoping to hit up every single spot. We'll see you next time.